Hello all, hope you are doing well. So in one of the earlier videos, we have seen what is reciprocal leveling, what is its importance and how to use the formula of reciprocal leveling to determine the elevation of the unknown point. But most of the students are facing one problem that is how to solve the questions on the reciprocal leveling, how to solve the questions on the reciprocal leveling. That's why today I'm here with three problems on the reciprocal leveling, three problems on the reciprocal leveling. So let us see them one by one. So first, if you take this problem, if you take this problem, problem given is following observations were taken during a reciprocal leveling. If reduced level of P is 140.815 meter, the reduced level of Q is. Okay, so that means RL of P is given, they're asking the RL of the Q. And here, if you see the data, they have given like instrument near station P, instrument near station Q. Okay, instrument near station P and instrument near station Q. And they have given some readings, they have given the values, they are asking to determine the RL of the Q. So first, what you must do is you have to write the formula to determine the difference between the elevation in case of the reciprocal leveling. So what is that formula is, it is a standard formula, irrespective of the readings you have, irrespective of the readings you have, you have to write the formula in the same manner, don't confuse, okay? So RL of Q minus RL of P equal to half into P1 minus Q1 plus P2 minus Q2. So this is the formula you have to use. This is the formula you have to use. So don't change that formula. Don't keep the formula like RL of P minus RL of Q. Don't keep it like that. Keep it in the same manner. Don't see the readings, keep it in the same manner. Okay, now in this question, I know what is the RL of the P. Okay, because they have given the RL of the P, which is 140 point 815 meter. And I have to calculate RL of Q. I have to calculate RL of Q. Then here if you see four terms are there P1, Q1, P2, Q2. So most of the students face the problem on how to take the values of P1, Q1 and P2, Q2. So let us see how to take it for this problem. So now in the problem they have given like instrument near, instrument near. So whenever the instrument is nearer the first station, whenever the instrument is nearer to the first station, that is the first instrument position. That is the first instrument position. So write it as one here. And whenever the instrument is nearer to the second station, whenever the instrument is nearer to the second station, keep it as the instrument position two. Keep it as the instrument position two. So just I will tell you by drawing the diagram, see this. In reciprocal leveling, I told how to conduct. Suppose this is the station P here and this is the station Q. Okay, we have to place the instrument nearer to the station P as well as nearer to the station Q. So now, whenever I place the instrument nearer to the station P, that is the instrument position one. Whenever I place it nearer to the station Q, that is the instrument position 2. These are always fixed. Consider them like that only. So now if you see the problem, I have mentioned like in the problem, I have mentioned like so instrument near P1, so instrument near P I have mentioned, that is the instrument position 1. Instrument nearer Q, so that will be the instrument position 2. So like that you have to take. Then after taking that, they have given the staff reading at P, staff reading at Q. So if you take staff reading at P from the instrument position 1, staff reading at P from the instrument position 1, that reading will be what? That will be of P1. Next you have taken the staff reading at P from the instrument position 2 suppose, that will be what reading? P2. And staff reading at Q from the instrument position 1, that is Q1. Staff reading at Q from the instrument position 2, that is Q2. So like this you have to take, like this you have to take. So once if you take these values, 
simply substitute them in this formula p1 minus q1 that is 1.824 minus 2.748 plus p2 minus q2 that is 0.928 minus 1.606 so substitute them like this then you will get the answer okay so this is how we have to do the first problem then go to the second problem go to the second problem so slight difference is there slight difference is that see the problem two stations p and q are on the opposite banks of a river following observations are taken in reciprocal leveling if rl of p is 200 meters and then rl of q nearly is rl of q nearly is so in this case what you must do is so first they have given the instrument near instrument near so now instrument near they have given in this direction these are the staff readings okay these are the staff reading now they have given the instrument nearer p instrument nearer q that means this will be the instrument position one now this will be the instrument position two now if you see the staff reading at p from the instrument position one that will be which reading that will be p1 that will be reading p1 next staff reading at p from the instrument position 2 that will be what reading p2 that will be p2 staff reading at q from the instrument position 1 that is a q1 staff reading at q from the instrument position 2 that is the q2 so like this you have to take the readings but if you see the previous questions if you see the previous question there p1 q1 are in this direction p1 q1 are here p2 q2 here here but if you see this question now p1 p2 i have taken in this direction the reason is the reason is instrument nearer is given in this direction here and in this case instrument nearer is given in this direction here that's the difference okay hope it is clear to you and again to solve the problem you have to use the same formula formula won't change at all rl of q minus rl of p that is equal to half into p1 minus q1 plus p2 minus q2 same formula okay okay that is the thing then we will see one question this is the question given in the esc 2012 and this is the question given in the esc 2013 now let us move to the question which is given in the mpsc which is given in the mpsc 2019 okay so now see the question Two points A and B were fixed on opposite banks of a river. The level was set up near A. Okay, so two points are there, A and B. So let us draw. The, let us draw it now. Two points A and B are there. Okay, A and B are there. And they are on the opposite bank of the river. That also I am showing. The level was set up near A first. Level was set up nearer A. Nearer A means suppose I am establishing it here. Okay. The level was set up near A and the staff readings on A and B were observed as. When the instrument is nearer to the first position. Whenever, whenever the instrument is nearer to the first station. That is the instrument position 1. So on this, the readings A and B were observed as 1.800. So this reading they are saying as 1.800. Now tell me what is the reading, what is this reading uh, 1.800 here? That is the reading A1. Because that is the staff reading taken on the instrument position. That is the staff reading taken on the station A from the instrument position 1. So you have to simply write simply write a1 equal to 1.800 and the staff readings on a and b were observed as 1.800 and 1.300 that means on b what is the reading observed 1.300 meters 1.300 meter so that was the reading observed 1.300 meters so that means from the instrument position 1 on station B, that is the reading. So, B1 will be 
1.300 meters okay b1 will be 1.300 meters next thereafter level was set up nearer b and staff readings observed on b and a were now what i am doing is instrument i am keeping on this position instrument i am keeping on this position so when i keep the instrument on this position when i keep the instrument on this position i have taken first reading on b here first reading on b here see the question thereafter level was set up nearer b and staff readings observed on b and a were b and a were that's why this will be the instrument position 2 and whatever the reading you have taken here that will be b2 so what will be that reading b2 on b and a were found to be 0 0.350 so b2 will be equal to 0 0.350 and 0 0.850 0 0.850 where you are taking and a were observed on b and a were for b it is 0 0.350 for a it is 0 0.850 so here from this position of the instrument whatever the reading you have taken that was how much 0 0.850 so a2 equal to 0 0.850 meters so again take the formula so now you have you don't have p and q here you have a and b so the formula will be like rl of b minus rl of a equal to half into a1 minus b1 plus a2 minus b2 so all these four values you have and you know rl of the a so can you calculate the rl of b or not yes so like this you have to solve different problems in the reciprocal leveling okay but still if you have any doubts on the reciprocal leveling kindly give a kindly drop your comment we will try to solve your doubt okay thank you thank you for watching this video thank you